Hello and welcome back to King's Quest 2 VGA. I am Violier and last time we talked to the vampire family, mostly um, Anastasia who used to be Possum, which Anastasia is a much better name than Possum. And then we went grave digging because apparently there was a treasure stored there, but we found out that the guy wanted to the guy it was supposed to be buried with really wanted to be buried at the church cemetery. So I guess that is where we are heading now. And since we're still protected by the trigger cube, we can just go yoink. The boatman has nothing more. Can we just climb in? You climb back into the decrepit rowboat, and the shrouded ghoul ferries you back across the lake. Okay. So, please don't let me have to go through that maze again. Ah, uh, hell, please don't let me have to go through the maze again. Oh, good. It didn't let, make me go through the maze again. It's always good. I'd hate ha to have to reverse the order. I'm never good at reversing. So, let's make our way to the church. In which case, I have really nothing to say right now, but I'm just going to fill this time with a couple things. Um, if I can think of anything. Just nice little red eyes there looking at us. So, we are going to the church cemetery. Still. Let's see. Actually, you know what? I know where I... I don't want to go here yet. I want to go somewhere else. We're going home robbing. And as we all know, there is only one house on this island. And since its occupants no longer need it, I like robbing stuff. Rule of Adventure Games is if it's not nailed down, take it. If it is nailed down, find a way to remove the nails and take it. Uh, actually, the first bit of that is in the King's Quest collection. You'll need to walk I don't want to walk around to the other side of the house. Let's see if anything cool is here. Um, okay, there's a wolf in the bed. What could that ever mean? Why would a wolf be in the bed of Grandma's... Oh, but he didn't get to eat her. Kind of like... Um... Well, I guess we'll save and see what happens if we huh, if we approach it. Oh, hello. My, what sharp claws! All the better to. Hmm. Okay. So in the original game, it could be either Grandma or the Wolf, because this whole vampire plotline didn't exist. I mean, you still had the um, Kaldor, who was just Dracula in that game. And if you didn't no notice, Kaldor is an anagram of um, Dracula. And if you could go in and out and be either the Wolf or Grandma, and even if the Wolf was there, Grandma could be there next time. So let's just. Say a home is... No, please don't tell me I've. My, what sharp claws. I've saved All in a bad two, spot. Two, 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 two. Oh, good. We got out. Go back in. Good. Nothing here. The bed is indeed as soft as it looks. You have no need of flowers. There is no time for sitting around, Graham. You have important things that need doing. Mm, let's see. What do we need to do here? Let's search under pillows. Pillows are a good place to search under. To your surprise, you discover a small bottle of ointment. A label on the side reads, Wolf Thing. Being very careful not to smash it, you take the ointment and put it in your pocket. Okay, so why would we need Wolfbane going to the church where we saw a couple wolves and what looked to be a monk turning into a wolf? That doesn't make any sense, you know. But, alas, we will finally head back to the church. And 
we will go talk to our friend, the Wolfy Monk, who church should still be open. Your heart beats faster and faster as you push on the handle of the church door. It opens, and you nervously step inside. The church, Graham. Um, what? That, that, that's a, it's not a pentagram, but it's a lot more than a pentagram. <laughs> um, yeah, that can't be a good thing. So, um, well, there's a colorful book over here. We can take it. You look over the book. It is a journal written by Loa, head monk of the Church of Kalima. Flipping through it, you see a paragraph with a name you recognize. It is as frustrating as always dealing with Count Calder and his ilk. He is just like his father, perhaps even worse. He insists that Kalima be pushed forward to enlighten the peasantry. Can he not see that this path leads to ruin? How can the people retain their moral goodness if their minds are filled with knowledge of the wider world and all of its sin? You turn a few more pages and choose another interesting looking paragraph. I am quite convinced that Caldor is so blinded by his so-called visions for Kalima that he cannot see the folly of his intentions. And yet he is the lord of Kalima. To publicly refute him would, be, would create confusion and anger in the people. I am a man of patience, the greatest gift his grace has granted me, and perhaps time will sell this young lord's idealism <laughs> grand sense in the process. The journal largely contains many entries of similar types, and of daily matters of a monk's life. You are about to replace the journal where you found it, but your eye catches a most peculiar passage. A wonderment was discovered in the forest this night. The spirits of the wild, long thought to be only of legend, appeared to us and saw fit to grant my brethren and I the most blessed of gifts. Such power we now have. Our forms can be abandoned in favor of any other, and I am to be their leader. They're most powerful. They are bound to me inextricably. The spirits have made promises of greater things to come for us. Oh, it fills me with such longing. The endless possibilities of what we will achieve with our abilities. I am restless. I must leave for a time. The moon is full, and I will feel the urge to join my pack as they run. Perhaps we will hunt. Perhaps we will kill. My mind is now clear. Though there are many pages left to be written on, it is evident that the final passage was written a number of years ago. How strange. You replaced the journal, putting it back where you found it. I wasn't done reading it yet. You look over the book. It is a journal written by Lowolf. You turn the journal. Let's see. My mind is now clear, and I know the path before us. It is a path that shall lead us to greatness, and it will begin with the destruction of our nemesis. But now I no longer have the patience to write. I must run. I must hunt. I must. Okay. Can we take one of these candles? Hmm. I want to disrupt their ceremony. We may do that later. In another game series. Okay, so where is the cemetery of the church? Is it up here? Back here? I don't know. Um. Trying to think. Think, 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 think. Um, can we go down? No? Huh. Maybe it's not next to the church? Hmm. I'm not actually sure where the church's cemetery is. You would think it'd be right next to the church. Uh, I think this is going to have to be time for me to look it up. Oh. Apparently there's a down here. Alright. We are looking for the name of Larman Odnob. Rarlob Neven, 985-1015. The jester jerked his life away until a quip he made one day insulted was a barren's son who had this poor old jester hung. Hmm. Lester Williamson, 1300-1345. to 
Here lies a man who feared all bugs, too scared to even lift his rugs. For if he had, he would have found insects that make little sound, with bites so deadly for their size that surely did cause his demise. Rebecca Twintle, 1250 to 1273. In that usual daring way of hers, she threw caution to the wind. Late one eve, she risked a venture and went out to sea with him. Totally in love she was, so filled with careless whim, that when he threw her overboard, she never thought to swim. Kind of like Graham. Goulash Thompson, 1370 to 1441. Never in all his living years had he ever seen such sights. For hours did he stare at them, those beautiful, dazzling lights. So happy was he that he'd been able to live to see this night, but down a cliff he blindly fell, for the lights had been too bright. Ah, sounds stupid. Larman Odnarb, 1175 to 1200. Dear old Larman was a healer, cured many a deadly fever. One he caught that bitter day, healed not himself and passed away. Well, I guess that's where we want to go. It's still appropriate file name. So let's dig. That's not our shovel, is it? It is a tiny. Nope. This is our shovel. Is a... <sighs> Can't tell. You can right-click to choose icon. Into a hole again? Digging. Your... Okay, we'll move off the grave. You stop digging when your shovel hits something hard. Is it a muffin? Oh look, another chest. With bated breath, you open the box. There it is, the tiara. All right. As you retrieve the tiara from its final resting place, you let out a loud, relieved sigh. You feel as if the coming sunrise will be the most glorious sight you will ever behold, considering how close you were to never seeing another again. Now don't delay, you still have to get it back to the castle. I don't like the wolf howl. You freeze as the wolf's howl sends shivers down your spine. You force yourself to turn and face nothing. Your anxiety must be causing you to hear things. Well, let's get this tiara back to Count Caldor so we don't die. Because dying is bad. I'm sorry for a warning. A wolf darts out of the dark forest and dashes towards you, and this time it's running directly at you. Oh god. We have this wolf Spain, please don't kill us. The wolf does not want anything from you except your flesh. You rub the wolf bane ointment all over your skin. Take that bitch. Sensing the wolf being ointment on your skin, the wolf quickly turns and flees back into the forest. Suck it, bitch. So yes, that is why I ended up making the side trip to Grandma's house. The wolf being ointment has worn off. Oh well, that was quick. Okay, so we need to get back to Count Caldor before more wolves decide to come at us, because we don't like wolves coming at us. They eat us. Hey, I managed to not go up on this screen then. I have this odd feeling that something bad is about to happen, so let's just save. TR get. As long as it's not a diamond TR get. Is that a diamond tier? Oh no. No, 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 no. No. You were nice to bring me back here the last time. I don't want to go through you again. Well, I guess it's a good thing I saved the game. Well, let's look at our TR real quick. This TR is stunning. 
It is encrusted with bones from the back to the front, progressively getting larger. The center stone in the front is a dazzling sapphire. God, it is a diamond tiara. Hate that bitch. Okay, I know we go south here. This part that I don't know, so we'll have to consult our handy dandy note. You read the Bible page again. Spiders earnest with spindly eight spin webs with negligible weight. E W S E East West South and East East. All right. Yeah, I can only remember such limited amounts at a time. I'm sorry. Read the Bible paid spiders earnest with spindly eight spin webs with negligible weight. South, west, west, north. I know it's east or west. I'm pretty sure it's west, but let's just double check that. You read spiders west. With spindly eight. Okay. This should take us back to our castle. Not our castle. Caldor's castle. Our castle. Oh, where's the ferryman? Something is wrong here. There is no boat. No boatman and... Uh... No escape. Shit. The monk and his pack have tracked you here, and they clearly intend to do nothing less than rip you to pieces. If you're going to do something, now would be a very good time. Um. Save it. Oh, shit. Um, um. Here. It is a tiny silver needle. Oh, oh, no! It reminds you of a dart. Let's get something darty. You feel the poisonous water seeping into your skin. Its potency takes effect immediately. A new, a new, a new, a new, a new. Um. Various plants grow here. That nature would otherwise forbid them life in such an environment is demonstrative of a strong magical energy which permeates this swamp. The twisted stick forms part of an anchor for this boat. Some hollow reeds grow here. That's what we need, hollow reeds. You tug forcefully at one of the reeds until it finally breaks free. You put it away and carry it with you. Okay. So, we have a hollow reed and a needle that kind of looks like a dart that's silver. Wolves don't like darts, right? Or is that silver? The silver needle fits perfectly into the end of the hollow reed, making a sturdy pea shooter. However, the needle by itself is not dangerous enough to make it a lethal projectile. Hmm. Maybe we need to put wolf stain on it. That would be cool. Do we have any more wolf stain? No, we do not. Um, needle enough is not lethal. What else could be lethal? I don't think we have anything. What's this? You think that this vial contains the potion of youth? Mm, well, let's take our chances. The silver needle hits the wolf, but fails to cause it any harm. You'll need more than silver alone to defeat this pack of wolves. Well, damn. Um, so, let's see, what could we use to make the needle deadlier? I know! To get our reed. You tug forcefully at one of the reeds until it finally breaks free. You put it away and carry it with you. Mm -hmm. 
and let's take our needle, put in our thing. The silver needle fits perfectly into the end of the hollow reed, making a sturdy pea shooter. However, the needle by itself is not dangerous enough to make it a lethal projectile. Let's dip it in the water. Very carefully, you bend down and soak the tip of the needle in the foul, toxic water. You now have a deadly weapon. Yay! Now we get to kill some dogs. Hmm. Choice of tactic, excellent. Choice of target, deplorable. So apparently we don't want to shoot at least that wolf. No. I guess we could, you know, shoot the leader. Suck it, bitch. Hey, Death. Where were you? I see you have met the Brotherhood of the no, I could have used your help. Where were you? Today, a man who had assumed your appearance boarded my boat. When we reached the other side, I perceived the flaws of his disguise and dispatched him instantly. The Count has been wary of the Brotherhood of the Pack for many years now. In obtaining what he asked for and ridding this lad of their leader, you have served him doubly well this night. Cool. Let's go back to the aisle. The shrouded ghoul paddles across the toxic lake to the shore on the other side. You re-enter the huge wooden doors and quickly make your way to the castle's main dining room. As expected, you find a count and countess awaiting you. You have performed admirably. Not only have you found the tiara I sought, you have rid me and this land of the deceptive and secretive Brotherhood of the Pack. They have committed many atrocities against my family, such as the deaths of our son and daughter-in-law. I have been forced to remain secluded all these years, unable to serve my homeland as I should, to evade the relentless pursuit of wiping out my entire family line. Is the Brotherhood really gone? Some of those wolves escaped. The rest of the pack followed the wolves that ambushed you. However, without their leader, they will find themselves as lost in mind as they are now in body. Whether human, wolf, or any other form, their hastened passage through my swamp will not see a return to their den. Of that I can assure you. You have trapped them all in the swamp? The entire pack? An endless flight through the mire awaits them. Should my long still heart ever feel pity again, perhaps one day I shall free them. Oh dear. As you listen to the Count's cold, unforgiving tone, you thank your lucky stars that he no longer sees you as a threat, at least not for the time being. I release you from my service, dear King. The nearing dawn no longer signifies an uncertain future for you. Cool. And he's giving us the gem! Yay! You take the death gem. Finally, you have all three stones in your possession. You feel a pang of anticipation as you realize that all you need to do now is take them to the door of destiny. Alright. So this seems like a good place to end the video. We've completed the one of the quests. We got one of the gems. And that makes all three. So we will end the video here. And I will see you next time. Thank you.